Hear me out, you know what would be really annoying? Let's say you're just going for a stroll in the park, and then it turns out that the trees aren't actually trees, but are actually sentient rocks, and then they start attacking you. Yeah, that would kind of suck. Anyways, apparently someone at Game Freak felt like that would make for a great Pokemon idea. Thus, this is Master Trainer, and today we're talking about everybody's favorite ungodly abomination, Pseudowoodo. Number 1. Let's start off by talking about Pokemon Rarity. In most Pokemon games, the only Pokemon that you're limited to catching only one of are Legendaries. However, in both the Generation 2 and Generation 3 games, it was only possible to catch one Pseudowoodo per game. In Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, you could only get one by spraying the odd tree north of Goldenrod City with a squirt bottle. In Pokemon Coliseum, you could only catch one Pseudowoodo, with that being a Shadow Pseudowoodo from a trainer in the Pyrite Cave. And finally, in Pokemon Emerald version, through the use of the Whalemur Pale, you could catch a Pseudowoodo at the Battle Frontier through similar means as in the Generation 2 games. Number 2. Now let's shift into Inspirations. Of course, in real life there's no such thing as sentient rocks that look like trees and might attack you. However, there is such thing as petrified wood, which is basically the fossilized remains of ancient plants. So I guess that also raises the question, does this make Pseudowoodo technically a fossil Pokemon? Let me know in the comments below. Number 3. Pseudowoodo is actually unique due to its typing. Now, now, the rock type was one of the original 15 Pokemon typings introduced in Generation 1. However, every rock type Pokemon introduced in the original games, including the likes of Geodude and Onyx, or combination rock ground type Pokemon, or some sort of other rock something combination I can't think of. Pseudowoodo, however, is actually just a pure rock type Pokemon, and is the only such purely rock type Pokemon to be introduced in Gen 2. That means that, believe it or not, Pseudowoodo was the first Pokemon to ever be a pure rock type. Number 4. Apparently in the series canon, Pseudowoodo is considered a popular Pokemon to keep as a pet. It's valued in particular by the elderly, with some even going so far as to collect them. The traits that such elderly collectors look for in Pseudowoodos are the lengths and angles of their arms, and even the size of the green leaf-like orbs on their body. In fact, some collectors even have a canonically recognized Pseudowoodo collecting magazine. Now that's... that's actually kind of awesome. Number 5. So Rock-type Pokémon are known to be weak to water, and Pseudowoodo is no exception. In fact, Pseudowoodo is so weak to water that it's terribly scared of the rain. Even just a bit of it can apparently be harmful to them, and as such, if it begins to rain, Pseudowoodo are known to try to run away to shelter immediately, fearing for their lives. I'm not talking about thunderstorms either, I'm talking like, light drizzles. So with that, remember to subscribe to Master Trainer, and I'll see you next time.